And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the EU and specifically the SNP's attempts to get the EU to agree to something that they have no power to agree to yet, i.e. to take on SNP and to promise they'll take them on, even though Scotland is still part of another union. Now it's titled, EU forced to ignore constant SNP attempts to meddle in Brexit negotiations, leaked emails show. Scottish politicians have been pleading their cause for Brexit to the EU as relations between London and Edinburgh turn sour over the trade deal. It's got nothing to do with over the trade deal at all. If you have a look back in my previous history of videos, you'll see it's got everything to do with Edinburgh being hateful, English hating, ignorant fools. <laughs> Sorry, but they are, i.e. SMP. Now, as you may be aware, the SNP have been trying for quite some time to get into talks with uh, the EU, even though they have no right to, they have no authority to, they have no sovereignty to. But it's not stopped them trying anyway. And in the process has put some serious spanners in the works for Brexit in general. Well, it seems that the EU have had enough of Scotland, i.e. the SNP. And even though they tried to help them achieve Brexit, destruction they've been cast aside listen to this everyone senior Holyrood officials pleaded for one me for one meeting with Chalina Vetcheva the director of maritime affairs and fisheries for the European Commission so they're trying to get involved in fisheries everyone Miss Bicheva is one of the most influential people in the block looking to determine the direction of fishing policy but express.co.uk understands the critical call was cut short with the Brussels chief claiming we're there, there this is this is brilliant stick this in your pipe SMP because this is more you're going to be getting more of the same of this as time progresses are we ready for this she did not have time to meet with the Scottish government when asked again one email said I understand Miss Vichevna Miss Vicheva is a very has a very busy schedule so we'll be unable to continue the call now another senior official prom prompting Scotland's interest in Brussels asked for a meeting with a senior EU figure to discuss Scotland's concerns about the importance of having an extension to the transition period due to the lurgy so they're trying to scupper Brexit everyone is any everyone suitably annoyed at the, the, the SNP at this point but the senior EU commission official said by the way Scotland if you scupper our of lust for freedom I will personally personally stop supporting yours good for the goose is good for the gander is all i'm saying but the senior eu commission official said unfortunately the official will not be able to cut for the call due to a very constant agenda in the coming weeks in other words are we ready fuck off scotland because <laughs> that's exactly what that is Scotland, please, 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 and I'm talking to the Scottish people here, the SNP will not get you back into Europe. You will be cast adrift, ostracised on your own with hardly any industry, hardly any economy, and the SNP driving you into dust. If you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. SNP spin doctors were also keen to get First Minister Nicola Sturgeon's meeting with Michael Barnier portrayed as much as possible to media in a snub to the UK and for social media. One letter Letter written by senior official to First Minister Nicola Sturgeon said, I have been asked by the First Minister's communication team whether it would be possible for a photograph to be taken of Monsignor Barnier and the First Minister after their meeting. Propaganda. Seems very propaganda orientated SNP, doesn't it? They lie to their own, to your children. They lie to the media. They lie to the Scottish Parliament. Is there anyone else they don't lie, they don't lie to? Is it, can you think of anyone they don't lie to? Because I can't. But perplexed at the request, one senior EU official put the SNP led administration in their position and stressed, all with the usual understanding that we are only engaging in the negotiations with the UK government. <laughs> in other words, you do not count, Scotland. You do, they don't care about you. They can't use you for their benefit. And therefore, you will be cast aside like everybody else. It comes as Prime Minister Bons Boris Johnson, Bozo Johnson and his 
Missy's ultra left wing nut job Missy's also pledged to give Nicola Sturgeon a Christmas present in the form of hundreds of thousands of tons of fish. Not if Sturgeon can have anything to do with it. It sounds like she's trying to sell off the Scottish fisheries. Are you listening, Orkney and Shetland? They're your fish, by the way, not the Scotland's, are they? Technically, if you do leave Scotland, if they do get their independence and you go crown dependency, all of the fish in Scottish waters are yours. Not Scotland's. They have no right to be trading your fishing waters. Also, (laughs) your gas and oil are in those areas as well. But let me know if if you think I'm wrong, everyone. This whole article proves to me that the EU don't care two tosses for Scotland. They don't care for anybody other than the EU. Everybody to them is just a stepping stone to make them more powerful. And the sooner Scottish people realise that the SNP are going to sell you to these idiots, the better, in my opinion. Time for Scotland to be the brave again and not start, not listen to Sturgeon, who thinks that the only way for Scotland to be strong and brave again is if you give all of your freedoms to somebody else. Sorry, but it's true. I'm a unionist and I, was, I will always fight for being in a union. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out, everyone. Stay safe, stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.